What is up everyone, we are back with another Xbox tutorial and on this one we are going to be installing this fantastic dashboard theme for your soft modded Xbox. I am using Rocky 5 soft mod and I have XP MC for gamers theme installed and as you can see I have all the box art and backgrounds for these games here and this also gives you access to tons of downloadable content so you can get DLC for your games you can get homebrew games you can get different apps and emulation and this is all accessible online you can just download this from the cloud and everything is just easy to navigate we are going to go ahead and install this so in the end you should have a menu that looks somewhere similar to this So the first thing you want to do is you want to download the Xbox Extras disc. I already have it downloaded, but I'm going to show you how to do that. I've covered this a few times previously on my Xbox, previous Xbox tutorial videos. But I'm just going to start from fresh and show you how to load the Extras ISO onto your Xbox or you can burn it on disk, but for this method, I'm going to FTP to the Xbox. To download the Xbox soft modern tool, we need to click on this link here, which is a Google Drive link, and then click on build. We want to download the entire folder. So click up here and then click download. The whole folder should be about 500 to 600 megabytes. Once it's downloaded, you should have a folder that looks like this. And then we just need to extract the whole folder. I've already got it here. So once you extracted it, you will have a bunch of folders and files. And the only thing that we need right now is the extras disk. So double click that. Here's the ISO. So you can actually burn this on to a DVD if you cannot FTP to your Xbox. Double click extras, extract this folder here. And then we need to place the ISO into this folder. So go back, cut this, and then paste it here. Now we only need to FTP and copy these two folders. So load up your FTP client and then connect it to your Xbox. Once you're in the Xbox, click on E drive and then click on applications. And then you're just copying these two folders into the root of your E slash applications folder I've already got it there so I don't need to do that and we are also just going to quickly uh, transfer a game so if you scroll back and my games are actually installed on the F drive yours might be a bit different but mine's in the F and then under games now most of these folders are not ISO ones if you have an ISO Xbox game then you need to convert it which is a completely different tutorial um, but yeah you need to use a program to convert it so then your folders and files should look, look something like this so I have a bunch of games that I still need to transfer over so they do take quite some time to transfer over some of them can take about an hour um, some of them are quick but for most cases they're around 30 minutes to an hour to actually transfer it all. So all I need to do here is just copy over a game once you have your game folder and then just drag it over and then it will transfer to your Xbox. So once the game has successfully transferred over we can now come off the PC and then return to the Xbox to load up the extras ISO and install the theme and then from there you'll be able to see your game 
and download the artwork. Once you have restarted your Xbox, then load up applications and then scroll down until you find the Xbox Soft Mod Tool Extras Disk. Wait for it to load. You'll be greeted to the Xbox Soft Modern Tool uh, menu. Go down to Dashboards and then find XBMC for Gamers. And we want to install it on the E drive. So choose that. And then click Yes. OK on that. Let it install. Should only take like a minute or two. Once the installation is finished, click OK. And then we just need to restart the Xbox or turn it off and make sure that your Xbox is connected to an Ethernet port. As you can see, the Xbox dashboard is completely different. Uh, we need to make a new profile. So I'm just going to put add profile and then name it to however and then name it to whatever you want. Now we need to calibrate the screen once we've loaded the profile. We need to make this disk look like a perfect circle. XBMC needs to restart once you've finished calibration. Now it's currently just scanning the games that I have already installed. Press the black button to go into settings. Yours wouldn't have the artwork already there, but because I've already installed this, this is why it's showing up. Your game should just be blank when it comes up here. So we need to press the black button and then go to settings, click downloader. And then we need to download all the links to all the available downloadable content We'll just click URL downloader.zip, click OK. So this is going to gather all the links and thumbnails to everything that you can download for your Xbox. All right, so now you have access to all the available content that you can download for your Xbox. What we need is the artwork installer, so click A on that. Click A again to download. I already have this, so I don't need to reinstall it, but just for this tutorial's sake, I'm just gonna show you where to download it to. So click OK, and then you need to go on to uh, eDrive, and then you want to install it on the root of your applications folder. So if you click right on the D-pad, you see you can choose these options at the bottom here so you want to click OK and then this will download onto your applications folder. What we need to do now is just check whether the installer has downloaded so press back and then applications And here is the Xbox artwork installer. Click A. Now you can choose manual artwork installer or auto. I normally choose auto. So this only picks the artwork for the games you currently have installed and not the entire library that they have. So click yes. So it's only going to add artwork for new games. Now to back out of the program, press start or select, click 
Yes. It's going to reload the dashboard. So you log back in. And your game should look something like this. And we can change the way the layout is. So what I'm going to do is press up on the D-pad. This brings up a bunch of options where you can just so you can choose which layout that you like. So you can have a box art and a screenshot of the title screen. You can have 3D box art as well. So here's the 3D box art. I'm going to click on view options. And change the color of the border at the bottom. So this is looking more like it. I kind of like this, the way this looks. It tells you how many times the game has been played at the bottom. So just mess around with these options here and just see what you prefer. I think this is probably the most neatest one out of all of them, with the 3D box art and the background. So I'm sticking with this one. One last thing I'm going to show you that we can actually change the dashboard theme again if you want to. You just click on download now. Click on dashboards. You can actually go back to the Unleashed X if you want to. So just re download that. I've actually already got it downloaded, but click on download. Click OK. Choose where you want to place the file. I think I've put it under dashboards. And then click on file manager, E drive where your dashboard is. Click on unleashed X. And if you click on default XPE, this will then just load the unleashed X theme again. I'm going to stick with the XP MC for Gamers theme because I think this is the cleanest setup and the way you can just download content quite easily is kind of a godsend. There's just tons of stuff that you can add to your Xbox. Panzer Dragoon, Super Mario, The Dooms, Beats of Rage, got your DLC for your games. some mods as well pretty cool stuff so that's it for the tutorial on how to install XB MC for gamers theme if you do have any questions then please comment below I hope this tutorial has been useful for you guys and I'll see you again